everybody. Hello, hello. It's four o'clock. Do you know where Linda is? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to let everybody get on here while I uh, get some things ready. I'll give you some pretty things to look at here. This is some calico collage stuff. Hey, Jeannie. So glad to have you here. This is a, another one I'm working on. I need to cut this piece of paper that I have here. I'm pre-cutting it for a tag. I'm so glad to have you here and welcome. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you know someone that would like to follow me, then I would love it if you would share so that they can. So what's everybody working on? Hey, Carrie, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Willow. Hey, Kat. I'm going to open my package from you. Hey, Naomi. Hey, Tina. Kylie, hello. <laughs> so I'm just cutting a couple pieces of paper. Whether I use them or not, doesn't matter. I'm just getting them ready. Hey, Diana and Gloria. So glad to have you here. So just so you know, I'm Linda Israel. And I reside in Yukon, Oklahoma. I'm so glad to have you here today. I'm getting a couple things ready. And I'm going to share it in the chat. Like this. So here's some connectors that you can get to me if it'll let me send it. Really? I can't send that many at one time? Oh my goodness. So let me do this. I can do that. I'm trying to share. Okay, so there's my Facebook group. And I also have a online store. I also have a face another Facebook group just for junk journaling. So I'm going to share that link as well. And then a little bit later, I'm going to talk about Calico Collage because I use her images. I'm on her design team. So I ask that you follow her as well. Hey, Austin, I'm so glad you made it here. Yay. Oopsie, I'm throwing things on the floor. I turned the heat tool on. We might burn up. We don't want to burn up. Awesome, Austin. I'm so glad to have you here. And Phyllis and the Purple Craft Shack. That's awesome. I love that name. So sorry if I bump the candra, camera. My mouse is on the same side because that's where my computer is. And so I have a tangled mess. Phyllis, so good to see you. And Kathy, I'm, I'm trying to get everybody. So if I miss you, I am so sorry. I don't mean to just because I didn't see it right away. Hey, Norella, I'm so glad you're here. Norella may have to leave early, but I'm so glad that she's here. She is the creator of Cal Calico Collage. So I'm so glad she's here. I've already posted the group to Calico Collage, her fans of Calico Collage. If you love the digital images that I share here in the group, in this chat, in my groups, in my Facebook, my website, YouTube, everywhere, then you definitely want to follow Norella and visit her Facebook group. So glad to have you here. So I've got a few things laid out here. You know, we're, we're in the fall time. It officially, the equinox is on... September the 22nd is when we transition from summer to fall. But a, a lot of us are really, you know, getting geared up for that. You've been following me. Hey, Cindy, you've probably seen me post a bunch of my Halloween projects. So definitely go back and check those out if you're still doing Halloween because there's plenty of time. And I'm working on, I call it a fall journal. My goal is to make it somewhat like a traveler's notebook in that you can take the individual notebooks out of the cover and work with those. And that's what I've started here. So Calico Collage has come out with two new kits that go together and they're called Apple Spice and they have Apple Spice Planner. So what I've done is I have printed 
her planner pages. So this would be a month spread. And I printed it as one piece of paper and I washi taped it into a soft, or I call a card uh, stock cover. So that folds out. And then I made a little mini journal using some of those pages. So we've got a pretty page here that you can journal on. I've sprayed it with Tattered Angels. I've added some stamping to that. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Cheryl. So glad to have you here. And then here's another page. I made a little altar paper clip just by adding some eyelash yarn to it. And then here is one of the planner pages that's by the week. So you can write notes in here. And I decided just adding, you know, blank spots in between would give you plenty of room to write about the month if you wanted to. Hey, Erica. Hey, Regina. So the people that have the little wrench by them, they are moderators or admin while I'm chatting. So if they see something that we need to address, they will. They'll also probably help by posting links to things that I talk about. If you have a YouTube channel and you haven't said so, please say in the chat, I have a YouTube, follow me. And then that way, everybody that's chatting, they can see that. And even after this video is over, it's recorded, I have the chat portion saved so that if you tell a friend, go look and, and see all this stuff and make sure you look at the chat because you'll be able to read the chat. They won't be able to post in the chat, but they can read it. Okay. All right. So here's another one of the planner pages and I stamped it. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Norella, for showing that planner kit. Also share the um, journal kit because I'm going to show that as well. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Share your, like I said, keep saying that you have a channel. Love to hear it. So more stamping, more. This is the center that I chose. I love the images she chose, the way the layout is, because as you can see, you have a week on one page. And I feel that if I put a blank page or two in, I have plenty of room to be able to write about the month. So here's some more on this side as well. As I really like it. It's it's a neat kit. I'm glad she made the planner portion to go with it. I asked her for it and she was able to get it done. Hey, Denise, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. So this is going to be the planner portion of my journal that I'm making. And then I took some of the other pages and just to keep it really simple, I didn't put a lot of embellishments or anything in this, really simple. I've got a cardstock cover, then I've got the planner or the uh, digital kit pages and maybe one or two of the digital planner pages. And I've stamped and sprayed it. So this is using Tattered Angels chalk board spray. And I sprayed that through my stencil that I have in my shop, which mine is pretty, uh, looks pretty old and beat up, but that's the stencil that I use. When you get it, it's clear, transparent uh, film. So you can see right through. And I don't wash my stencils. I just let it get those crusty bits whenever I'm working. So that's what you're seeing here. All right, looks like we got some more people. Don't they match perfect? I think I did a pretty good job with the Tuttered Angels. I ended up using a red and a yellow, and I thought that was just perfect for this. Because you believe it or not, I couldn't find any apple stamps in my uh, stash. Well, I didn't look that hard, but <laughs> I didn't go dig through all of my uh, stamps. So I just found a few other stamps that I happened to have nearby. And that's why I chose the fall leaf. Hey, Jamie and Sharon. So glad you're here. Isn't it pretty? I just love it. And this, this is a page out of a book and I sprayed it with Tattered Angels. And on the other side, I added a little pocket. And then this image here is a stamp from crafty individuals. I always have to remember that because I say it wrong. <laughs> I'm getting the, yeah, crafty individuals. And they have, they're smaller stamps. So they're not, they're not giant stamps. So that one is like 
a little over two inches. But look at all these neat stamps. So we've got this, it looks like a ticket stub and these other ticket stubs. And that's what's crafty individuals. So make sure um, you check them out. And if you buy something, tell them because I'm hoping that I'm going to get some free stamps from them that I can share. Here's another set that I got. And they're reasonably priced. Um, seems like these sets were like under $8. I, it's, it was cheap. It was really cheap. I know the shipping wasn't that much either. And then they also sent me some freebies. And one of them was this corner stamp that I use a lot. So I hope you like seeing those. And that's what I did here on that. But right, I feel like I'm rattling on. If you have questions, please feel free to ask. That's what I'm here for is to answer those questions and try to help you out, uh, whatever you're working on. I love them, Kylie. They're great stamps. I'm really happy I got them. They come unmounted and I mounted them myself on a cling back. I have a video that shows how to do that as well. So here is my second little notebook that I made. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside for a moment over here. My, I'm running out of space already, y'all. I mean, got started. <laughs> oh yeah, Kat, you need the backing sheet. Um, if you go to my how to mount rubber stamps video, I have a link to the mounting sheets that I use on uh, Amazon. And anything that I post that has a link, um, I get a commission from it. Let me put the link in there for you, Cindy, just a moment. I'll get them, I'll put them out in front of us again so you can see that. So it's crafty individuals. All right, let me see where I can, let me see how many tabs I can open. Hopefully we won't crash the computer. All right, I think I found it. What has everybody been working on? As you can see, I'm working on this junk journal. Yeah, so Diane is saying that she used the same mounting sheets. They are super sticky, but it does clean up. And here's what I recommend. I show it in my video that if you'll put just a little bit of this cleaner on your blade and kind of work it and then wipe it off, they'll cut cleaner and it won't get all gummed up. So this is a great tool if you're cutting sticky stuff, you can put a little bit on your scissors and they won't gum up. Thank you, Robin. Oh, thank you, Kylie. Kylie found the link to the video I was talking about. Uh, Robin is talking about Halloween. Hey, Naomi, so glad to have you here. Oh, wonderful, Jamie. You know, little books are so fun. Wow, Denise, you're going to be busy. She's working on nine journals for ladies and her family for Christmas. She's going to be busy, busy, busy. Goo Gone is really good. I wouldn't use an emery board on my scissors unless I was trying to sharpen them. But Goo Gone is another way to remove the sticky stuff. Oh, the Cockney Crafter says that uh, working on a journal spring with food coloring this evening. Oh, Kylie said that was the wrong leak. She'll repost. <laughs> awesome. Well, I've been editing lots and lots of videos. I'm going to have a bunch that'll show up in your feed. So make sure that you subscribe to me and hit that notification bell so that you get a notification because I've got, uh, let's see, I've got one coming up on the 20th. If I get the other one made on the 21st and the 22nd, and then I'm off next week. So FYI, I will not be here on Monday, the 23rd, 25th. 24th, 24th, Monday the 24th, I think is right. Um, so 
I won't be here next week, but I will be here the following week. And if you are looking for me to do a particular thing in the live feed, please let me know. And, you know, you can post it here. You can leave it as a comment below. So I'd greatly appreciate it. Robin wants to know where I'm off to. My family, my father-in-law, mother-in-law, husband and I are going together. We've done this a lot in the past and we get along really well. It also helps that we have our own rooms. <laughs> <laughs> we're going on a cruise. We're going to drive to Galveston, Texas, and then we will get on a cruise ship, the Vista by Carnival. This is their maiden voyage out of this port, which means they have sailed out of other ports, but this is the first time they're going out of Galveston which is fun for us. And we'll be on that cruise for seven days. We'll go to Cozumel, Grand Cayman, and Jamaica. I think that's right. Yeah, Grand Cayman, Jamaica. And, you know, when I go to Cozumel, I'll go to a beach house, a private beach house, and I'll get to sit on the beach and go snorkeling and play in the water. So I'm really looking forward to it. It is a lot of fun to cruise. You know, I highly recommend uh, that if you want a inexpensive vacation where everything's pretty much included, all your food's included while you're on the ship, there's a lot of free entertainment on the ship. You don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. You can get a cruise relatively cheaply. You know, Average hotel night somewhere is over $200 for a nice hotel that might include breakfast. And you can do it for way less than that on a cruise. So I highly recommend it. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the private beach house. We've been there before and I just love it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, so I'll wave when I go through town, Phyllis. <laughs> I had hoped that I would uh, be able to have a workshop on the way through Texas, but it didn't work out that way because we're all riding together and I didn't want my in-laws to go down a day early. So definitely check that out. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. I have, you know, we're, we're inspired by fall. We're inspired by the fall colors, the yellows, the orange, a little bit of the green. And so what I've done is I've taken some of the Calco Collage images and I have made a little, this is my junky part of the journal that I've made. And I'm going to put a cardstock cover on it because I'm going to make it like a traveler's notebook so it'll come out of the journal and I didn't want it to have a soft page on the front so that when you're not in the journal it still had a little bit of protection. This is some paper that I got at I think I got it at Tuesday morning I'm not positive it was probably one of those clearest things but it's by seven gypsies of all people um, so it's kind of funny that you know I go to um the store down the road here to buy something on clearance and it was from canvas corp now i just noticed that when i scored this i ended up cutting it but i still want this to be a little cute tuck spot right in the middle the front so here's what i'm going to do to fix that it's like oops i was pressing too hard so all i'm going to do is put some washi tape on this side and that will keep those connected so that when I fold it back over, I'll still have a pocket here. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there. I'm just using Scrap Perfect's glue. It's the best glue ever by Scrap Perfect. And what I like about this glue is that if I leave this for a few minutes, it will be tacky and it will actually stick better than if I put the adhesive on and then try to immediately close it. Let's see. Someone else is saying, talking about going on a cruise for Christmas. Oh, Diane, I'm sorry for your loss. I hope you do get to go and I, I hope you enjoy that. You know, I lost my mother a year ago. And one of the things that she said, you know, was do what you love and do it now. Don't wait. And it's just like, uh, you know, 
the fancy dishes in your cabinet. Get those out and use them. Use those linens. Wear that fancy dress. Make an excuse to dress up and go do things. Don't just let things sit in your closet, your cabinets, and don't use them. Enjoy them now because life is short. Life is so, so short. So I, I understand loss. I don't know the loss of a husband and I pray that I don't, but, uh, I will die before he does so he can spend the insurance money. <laughs> and, and I hope you can journal about it and, and get through it. So virtual hugs here. I'm reaching in. I'm giving you a hug and lots of love. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to fold this over. I just let the glue sit for a moment and it's kind of air dried and it's already starting to stick really well to that. Thank you, Gloria. <laughs> okay, so here's what I've got is my journal P pages. So I'm going to open it up to the center and we'll flip through this in a moment. All right, so I'm going to center this up here. I'm going to put it in the center of my little cover. I'm going to grab a giant paper clip. I think I need one more because I missed, I put them all away. Could you imagine I actually put something away? <laughs> all right, so we'll go over here and pin this one. Thank you, Diane. Thank you so much, Diana. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Diane says, we're looking for things we never did while my husband of 47 years was alive. I live right on the coast of Southern Virginia. So we had to go to a beach house on Hatter's Island for Thanksgiving. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so I've got a piece of fun foam. I've got my book with the cover put together. I've got a template that I've made. And I go over this template in other uh, tutorials, but... The idea is, is I've equally spaced three holes, one dead in the center and then one from the ends somewhat close, but yet enough that it's going to grab my shorter pages in here. So you want to make sure that whatever um, pages that you are using, that they are the holes are going to go through all of it. OK. Thanks, Gigi. So glad you stopped in. I know that a lot of you are busy. And you probably can't stay for the whole thing. And I do completely understand. So please feel free if you have to leave, go ahead and do so. And remember, this will be recorded. Okay, Diane, I'll let me I'll get to that in just a moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch holes, and here's the key that I want you to know. You want to put your pages at a V when you're punching the holes so that the pages are all nested together. And when you punch the hole, you're actually punching down in the V and not at a sideway, okay? So I'm just gonna go right down the center of this hole here and here and here. So, Diane wants to know, how do you decide if you're going to do a three or five stitch binding? Okay, so the truth of it is, I like doing three stitch because it's easy. <laughs> and I have found that no matter how big my um, journal is, that the street three stitch or three hole is perfect. I don't have any problems with that. So I just do it all the time, Diane. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I've punched the holes and the next thing I'm going to do is I've got wax linen thread. I recommend wax linen thread and here's why. It is very strong. I'm pulling on that. See them. Well, let me see if I can do it again. See the mark I'm making on my finger just from pulling and it's not breaking. So it's stronger. Uh, it won't split on you whenever you're sewing with it. So it's a better quality. Okay. The five stitch is a little bit harder and you have to think about it the first few times you do it. But once you do it over and over and over, it, you know, it, it'll, it'll come together. 
All right. So now what I'm going to do is I was reading. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. So I'm going to take this string, this wax lid, and I'm going to do one, two, and three, and we'll trim this. That way I don't have to mess with the spool while I'm sewing. And I've got, I sell book binders needles in my shop. They're two for $5. These are a four inch, very strong needle. See, it's not bending. Okay. And you're the size of this shaft of this needle matches the size of the Tim Holtz Tonic Studio craft pick. And that's why I like these. <laughs> well, Robin, I thought I saw your pretty face on that other account. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start in the middle and you go to the outside of your cover. You want to pull, but don't pull your tail all the way through, the tail of your thread, that is. We're going to go to the stop, to the inside, okay? So we're back to the inside, and what I like to do is grab a hold of this tail and hold it with my thumb up out of the way, and then I'm going to go back through the center. See that following? Everybody following this? <laughs> and then we're going to go back to the bottom stitch. And Naomi says the five stitch is just like the uh, three stitch. It's just, uh, I guess it's extra holes. <laughs> extra hole on either side. So yeah, it's, it's the same concept. I just like doing the three holes. It's easy for me to measure out. Um, I'm not a math person. If y'all haven't been following me very long, you know that I don't do math very well. I'm terrible at measuring and being consistent. So I just kind of make it up as I go. <laughs> so I just tie two little knots are called a, a square knot, a surgeon's knot. And sometimes I save the bits. It depends how long they are. Sometimes they're too short to do anything. So I'll throw it away. All right. So now. There is the cover for my next one. You liking that? Isn't that neat? I love this. This is a flocked paper, and I was surprised it didn't sell better because they put it on clearance. Okay, so what do we want to do now? I'm trying to figure out. So here's here's how y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, sorry. Y'all still with me? Crash! <laughs> You like the dust cover? Yeah, isn't that nice? I mean, it's just to keep this neat so that when I pull it in and out of the journal, it would be nice and neat. Robin says she doesn't do math either. I eyeball it, and if it's crooked or off a bit, then whatever, it works and adds character. It's handmade. It's handmade. <laughs> All right. I didn't finish decorating this, but I think what I want to do is this is the planner page. Then we've got the journal, and then we've got additional journal space. So we've got these three pieces here, and this is my cover that I've started. Now, I haven't prepared it yet to have the binding for the um, elastic for the, um, the what is it called, y'all? It's called a traveler's notebook. <laughs> <laughs> so these would be the inserts, and then this would be the cover. So here's what I did. I had some leftover bits. I had this burlap, and I had some canvas, and it wasn't this height. And then somebody in Happy Mail sent me this red, um, kind of a tissue mulberry paper, and I temporarily just kind of glued it just a little bit to hold it in place and then I sewed on my sewing machine and you can see on the inside I don't know if you can see right here that that's two different pieces so this was two different pieces that I sewed together okay and then my idea was that I would put these in and this is the front half of my cover so I'm just kind of holding them in place for a moment and then this would come around I got crap, got crap everywhere. 
And then I made this again. This was what was left over. And so I made this long piece to wrap around. And then slide that through and that ties it shut. What do you think? Okay. So that's the, the journal foundation, if you will. But I haven't put where I'm going to put the elastic in here. So I'm just going to look at this. I'm getting a phone call, so I had to uh, decline it. I've got a pencil here. So what I'm going to do is I know that I need this to extend past. Again, I'm not measuring, y'all. I'm just going to take a pencil and just kind of mark. And let's mark this side. So that kind of gives me an idea of where these are going to go inside this journal. So let's see if I can, I've got a hole punch here. Ah! Okay, this and me are gonna go round and round. It's a clamp to hold things together. <laughs> and it keeps falling down on me. <laughs> Do you like that? Do you like my cover idea? I mean, it's just, you know, fabric. So here's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, now I'm going to take a ruler and about, let's do, what do you think? Half an inch from the top. I'm going to make a circle on that line and then I'm going to make another one on that one. So you kind of see those circles. Oh, Carrie, thank you so much. Bless you. Um, if, if y'all didn't notice in the chat, Carrie has, um, basically she's done the super chat. The super chat is where you can basically make a donation while we're here on YouTube to me. I think I get, I don't know if it's 75%. It's a, it's a pretty good percentage of it and it makes your chat big. Uh, for a while. So thank you so very much. I greatly appreciate that. All right. So now I'm going to go on the other side. And this time, even though I made a line, I'm going to try to get it as straight as possible and make a dot. And then we're going to do that again on this side. Make it lined up. And about a half inch in. So right about there okay so i made some holes and i don't know where my eyelets are but i'm just going to eyeball this and punch some holes and see how this goes so i've got a hole there and i've got a hole there and it may be that this is too soft of a cover but you know what i'm experimenting and i'm okay with it so i'm gonna punch a hole there and punch a hole here. So I'm using my crocodile eyelet setter hole punch. All right, so if I do my traveler's notebook right, I probably should put another hole in the middle. I think I will, just so I have three instead of wrapping a third band around. Okay, so y'all y'all are seeing me Try this live as my prototype, in a sense. <laughs> All right, so I made three holes, and then I buy elastic by the spool. So this is just black elastic. And I probably should scroll up. If you have questions, say so. Um, and then hopefully one of the admin will repeat it for me. <laughs> You know, uh, Robin says her Dollar Tree stinks. And here's what I'll tell you about Dollar Tree. They vary throughout even the same city. On some, how do I explain this without being, we, we have a Walmart that has a Dollar Tree very near and that is in a very poor neighborhood. And it's a certain ethnicity, mostly, where they don't speak English. 
And I have noticed that that Walmart and that Dollar Tree, when you go in, have completely different products than, say, in a very upscale, high dollar area. And it's really weird. Uh, but I guess it's about the demands of that neighborhood, what people want. And by the way, if y'all didn't know this, that if you find something, someone shares with you, hey, I got this, you know, I'm pretending, I got this at Dollar Tree. And you go to your Dollar Tree and they don't have it. If you go to the website, you can go to their website and put in a button jar or in the sense my father-in-law needed some teddy bears, type in teddy bear, and you can order it for the same price direct from Dollar Tree. So I thought I'd tell you that. All right. So what do you think? I'm going to start on the inside. I'm going to go to this one. Go to the middle. Okay, I'm, I'm pretending right now. This may or may not work, but we're going to try it. Okay, so then if I go to this one and then go to this one and go across to this one. So we're going to go back through this first hole again. Or am I? Am I doing this wrong, y'all? <laughs> All right, so we need to loosen this up. And then I want to go back through here, but the problem is, I think what I need to do is go through the middle again. Here we go. And then I'll go back. So now we're going to have, basically we have enough for four in this journal by doing it this way, because I'm going back through the middle. And then I'm going to go through here. And I don't want it super tight because I really don't want my journal to ball up on me. <laughs> it, Lynn, you know, if you don't have Dollar Tree, go online. You can go to DollarTree.com. Go to Amazon. Check it out there. All right. So I've gone through this. If you can kind of see. So it looks like it's stitched on the outside here. Okay. And then... I've come through the inside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this in a knot and I'm not going to pull these bands really tight because I don't want my journal to curl up on me. And I made a square knot and then I'm going to make another square knot and I'll cut off the excess. And then I'm going to adjust this so that I take up some of this slack. Okay. Does that make sense? Anybody care? Are y'all chatting on your own? <laughs> We're just doing our own thing, Linda. <laughs> yeah, dollar store, it, it kind of depends, you know. Um, they, I noticed we have one here in Yukon, and I consider Yukon, we have from one end to the other. We've got below poverty level and we have people living in million dollar mansions. So you get a wide variety. In Oklahoma City, it just kind of depends on where you are. It's interesting. <clears throat> Thank you, Kylie. <laughs> okay, so I've made the little spots in here. So now I'm gonna slip this one through and let's see if it worked. If it didn't, it's no big deal. It was just elastic and fabric, right? All right, so there's the first one, and then this is going to be in the middle, and I think what I'm going to do with it is I'm not going to use, well, I will use both of them because I want this one to stay in, so I'm just pulling that band, all right, so there's two, and then look here, oh, I didn't mean to put this in the back, dang it, okay. So, <laughs> well, I'm just going to leave it here for now. Put it at the back of the journal. So this page flips out. So I made sure not to have it under my band. Does that make sense, everybody? What I did there? And then, okay, let's see if this works. Oh, it's really tight. <laughs> Uh, 
And look, that's what the spine looks like. Oops, sorry. You like that? <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm glad y'all are chatting. It's good to share things. Yeah, Midori style binding. You got it, Carrie. Exactly. So this is just another way to make a journal that then if I want, I can take this out and write on it and then put it back in. All right, so I know that I want to put some journal cards on here uh, on the front. So what I did was I went to my Cricut and I found a pocket template and I ended up making a little pocket out of a page out of a Bible. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Loon. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Gloria. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, Norella says, you know, that same style of cover would look great for a boho themed journal. And I so want to make a boho themed journal. And I hope to do that soon. That's my plan. I need to get some more digital files downloaded. <laughs> I know I want to use the gypsy one, but I may ask a, of a certain person what they would recommend from their shop. <laughs> Yeah, and it is easy to make these pockets. You know, if you look at what I've got here, if you have a long piece of paper and then you end up cutting a little tab and then make a notch at the top, this just folds up. And these little tabs, you can either fold them over to the back or you can glue them to the inside to your preference. And then there's a pocket. So it's really quite simple. So let's let's see if I can duplicate this on the fly. On the fly. All right, so I've got a piece of paper here. So if we look at this, we know that, oh, uh, let's go right about here. So I'm not even measuring. So there is, let's just say this is a giant pocket, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is on the top portion, you want it to be skinnier than the bottom portion. So if we take this, I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to trim the equal amount on both sides. You could use a paper cutter. I'm just using scissors. Okay. Are you with me so far? what I've done. And then I'll get a punch. I'm trying to find one that's not a bazillion <laughs> inches. Got a punch. You don't have to have a punch. You could fold this and then just cut a semicircle. And I'm just going to punch this. Punch it like this. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to punch that. Oh, my paper punch needs to be worked on. So I guess I get to cut it by hand anyway. All right. So there, we've got a little hole punch. We're going to fold this back up. We're going to take these little flaps and fold them over. And now you have a pocket. Is that easy? <laughs> uh, okay. So I made these pockets. Rabbit hole. Okay. Where'd it go? I made these little pockets and what I did was I took a doily. So I have doilies now. I bought a thousand of them. <laughs> I'm going to start putting them in my shop in little kits for people. Yes, Carrie, you can do it. I know you can. It's easy. <laughs> and then I sprayed it with tattered angels. I used a part of a Starbucks coffee sleeve. I just ripped it. And then these words are part of the apple spice. I trimmed this apart and got that. This is eyelash trim that I tied in a bow. So now we have a little pocket. And I'm going to put that on the front of our planner page because I thought that would be a good way to have some extra journal cards. And I grabbed the wrong glue because I'm on video. <laughs> and I was supposed to grab the other glue glue but this is just a lean's tacky glue it's it's an inexpensive glue i just put a little bit on three sides so that this could be a second pocket here 
have a good dinner, Erica. Thank you for coming by. <laughs> Gloria, it really is simple. I mean, it's just a matter of playing with it. And here's what I recommend. Get you a scrap piece of paper or page out of an old book and just play. That's what I like about Tacky Glue too, Naomi. She says it works for just about everything, which is awesome because if you're on a budget, you can afford it. All right, so we've got that place there. Prior to coming on live, these are the journal cards that come with the planner kit. So it says important and remember, and it's got a date. So I thought these were kind of handy, so I could put those right here. And I also had another pocket here that I thought that way, as you're working in your planner, you need to put a note. Maybe you need to paper clip it to your page. You can, okay? <laughs> Loving the names of everybody here. It can be plain tacky glue too, Naomi says. You're right. I just like Aline's because it's here in the States, it's relatively inexpensive, $5.99. And I usually use a coupon when I buy some and I buy the big bottle. All right. So there, are we doing all right with the first parts of my journal? I haven't made a journal card for in here. I've got, hey, let's, let's work on that next. What do you think? Let's work on that. Let's make a journal card slash tag. I'm going to set this aside for a few minutes. Oh, and I have another one of these pockets that I plan to put in that journal. So I went out to my yard and I grabbed um, some dry stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use that because it may be it may not go well coming in out of the pocket. But I found this and then what I did was I found instructions on the internet, on Google, how to dry leaves. And you place it in a microwave with a paper towel below and a paper towel above. And you do about 20 to 30 minute increments of heating it. You have to watch it so it doesn't catch on fire. And if you do it too long, it will make the leaves very brittle. So you want to do it just slightly. Um, I put a dish on top of this because this was 3D, very 3D. I don't know if you can see how thick it is and squished it. So I thought I've got to be able to use this sometime. So what I've done is I've got leaves. This one I've dried. And then this one I coated with Tattered Angels Glam. So you have to seal your leaves or it will leach out onto your pages. So I sealed it with Tattered Angels Glam. And I'll show you how I did that. So let me get a little. I've got a paintbrush that's been sitting in water and I'm just going to wipe it off because I just want it damp. And then I've got Glam by Tattered Angels. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, Carrie. 20 seconds. 20 second increments. So I'm going to shake this up because it's got tons of glitter in the bottle of it. So shake it up. Shake it up, baby. Now shake it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I thought it'd be kind of fun to use some natural elements so I'm going to open this up position it so I don't dump it because I'm good at being clumsy and take some of this glam you can use the clear you can use solid colors and we're just going to coat this I'm going to put it over my paper towel we're going to coat this leaf with the glam I'm just painting it on there and what that'll do is it will seal the leaf. And I'll paint the other side as well, but I just want to show you what it looks like on camera. I usually paint clear on the other side. And it, it shines with this, it has a sparkle. I don't know, it's just really pretty when you're done with that. <laughs> no more caffeine for me, Debbie says. <laughs> oh dear, probably not a good idea. <laughs> I have, I have a Coke. I haven't drink it all. See, it's still in there. <laughs> I even tried to listen to some songs before we, I got on here, just in case something I said inspired it. <laughs> Me to go to a little singing. So that's what I did here. So we've got a four by six piece of cardstock and we have a leaf. Well, that seems kind of 
not a lot there. But we have, have some more stuff here. I've got this. Let's see what we can use here. Oh, I've got some of my mixed media pages that I made. So who's seen my mixed media pages video? Did you see that? Did you see how I create pages like this and like these and that? Oh, and that I have stencils for sale in my shop. This is a commercial, y'all. <laughs> so I think I want to use, what do you think, some of this green? Don't you think that green would look good behind this leaf? All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this piece of paper, and we're going to we're going to rip it. We're going to rip it good. Da 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 da. <laughs> kind of like whip it. <laughs> I love these pages, Denise. They're so fun. It, you know, making these pages and just I have a stack. You know, I just put a stack over here to the side. It's very therapeutic. Um, you know, just playing in the paint and the sprays and just experimenting, exactly learning how to do stuff. How does this react with the other? And it, it's a book page. You know, I paid a dollar for a book that probably had 400 pages in it. So it's not even a penny. And if you don't like it, you toss it. But what I have found, if I don't like it, I just put more paint over it. Thank you, Nao, uh, uh, Norella. <laughs> Thank you, Kylie. Yes, making a mess is good for the soul, Naomi said. <laughs> I agree. I agree. It's so true. You know, it's something that happens to us when we grow up as adults. You know, we stop making the mess. We're, when we were kids, you know, we went out, we played in the mud puddles and, uh, you know, we got all messy and our parents were like, oh, my God, now you have to take a bath. Don't get dirty. But when we don't get dirty, if we just walk around prim and proper, we never have any fun. So go out there and get dirty. Go splash in that mud puddle and have a good time. All right, so I'm just trimming this to be enough to kind of fit on my piece of paper here. Let's see what else I have. I have, oh, I have some textured, but, oh, wait, I've got a piece of burlap. Let's see what else we can do here. So I'm going to cut a little piece. It's coming together, y'all. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I got my Distress Ink here. All right, I'm going to make this tag. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my happy mail that I have received. I've got five packages. I know Kat is waiting anxiously. And I'm making y'all suspenseful and waiting. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... I thought I was going to make it tag shape, but I think I'm going to leave it rectangular. All right, so I just use a walnut stain and some Distress Ink. Easy breezy stuff. And let's glue this down. Had my book page been a little bit bigger, I would have turned and cut um, going in like landscape mode instead of portrait so that the text wasn't upright. But my page that I used this time wasn't that big in order to cover my whole tag. All right, so. Let's see. Yes, get the sidewalk jock and go out and draw. Okay, so I'm going to lay this here and I'm going to I'm going to say ooh and ah and you have to be inspired, okay? Oh, and I'll flip it over to I have a Cricut and I made these little apples. What do you think of those apples? I'm going to do a zigzag stitch on this card really quick like so I made those apples on my uh, Cricut. I cut green and red and yellow cardstock. And then after I got them all done, meaning all cut, I sprayed them with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. And then I took, let me see if I can get it without tearing everything up. Bear with me, bear with me. I took these tools. I love these little containers. I took this tool. It's called Fantastics by uh, Sukunito. I don't even know if I'm still saying that right. Someone gave me the pr pronunciation the other day, and I don't think I got it. Um, 
And I dip this into the Distress ink. So Distress ink onto this little pen in a sense. And then I went in here and I made this mark and this mark and kind of smudged just a little bit. And that gave it some character to my apple. Do you like that? <laughs> Oh yes, you gotta feed you gotta feed the family, Austin. It's important. <laughs> oh, you like that cloth cover, Robin? Oh, I may do that. I may make some more. If if that's something that people are liking, I may make some more because I have fun. <laughs> yeah, he kind of went away. <laughs> so, you know, that's what I did here. And that's a way to add another dimension to something that you cut flat on a cricket even. And still keep it pretty flat in the journal. All right, so let's move this out of the way. You got to see something different. All right, well, we got the tag base started. And I think what I want to do is I want to put this leaf going like that. So I'm going to use the best glue ever from Scrap Perfect. Again, and here's why. Because I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of this leaf. I'm going to let it air dry for just a moment. And then I will stick it down and it will stay better than if I just cram a bunch of glue on there and stick it down because it'll they have a tendency to move around on you. <laughs> Thank you, Phyllis. Thank you, Norella. Thank you so much. All right. So we're going to let that sit for just a moment. And then I cut a little piece of burlap here. So. Here we go. We'll do um, bushels of love and we'll put that across here. What do you think? So I'll just trim this out. I like these little sayings that Norella put in this spiced apple kit. They're kind of fun and you could use it as the whole piece or you could cut it apart like I just did. <laughs> No, I'm not adding glitter to the glue. Hey, Susan. <laughs> not this time. It's already got glitter on it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go in here. I think, I think we need another piece of paper behind that, don't you? Oh, look. I've got a little piece of green. That was just laying here. Perfect. So let's trim this. I love happiness like that. You know, uh, a lot of y'all are saying that you don't have a very big craft space, that you get piled up. I get piled up too. And sometimes it's kind of fun to challenge yourself to use what you have right here within arm's reach. <laughs> All right. So now I'll put some glitter on it in a moment. Okay, Robin. <laughs> I got to I'll get you. I'll get you. All right. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of this. And we're going to stick that on top of here. Like that. Isn't that kind of cute? All right. So now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of the burlap. I'm going to let it set air uh, upright for just a moment. This should be a tacky enough that I can stick it down. So what I'm going to do, whenever I have something that has dementia, dementia, dimension, hopefully it doesn't have dementia. <laughs> it is just paper craft. All right. Then I put something kind of heavy on top of it and I'll even set you know, something like that and push it down in there. Okay. <laughs> you know, my husband makes fun of me because my mouth, uh, <laughs> my mouth will get way ahead of my brain and I'll say something. I'll be like, what was that? Or I'll make, I'll put two, two words together and I'll make up a whole new word. And everybody's like, what, what did you say? <laughs> All righty. So that's pretty stuck down. So now we're going to take this piece and let's put it kind of, we call this cattywampus. <laughs> it's crooked. It's not straight. And then let's put, oh, I was, why am I going to open the distress ink? It can't glue things down. 
<laughs> All right, so we're going to put a little bit on the back side of there. All right, stay, stay in place. <laughs> it's it's a word y'all okay let's all right let me get let me get this straight so i can look at the camera all right do we want it straight i think i want that straight not cattywampus even if it or do we want it cattywampus in the other direction <laughs> austin says go to bed linda you're drunk <laughs> Hey, this is how I am all the time, Austin. Wouldn't you like to be a part of this every day? <laughs> okay, so Naomi says crooked. Uh, Denise says straight. <laughs> Susan says there. So I don't know if she means where I have it right now or not. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. Uh, uh, now, Norella says crooked. Robin says cattywampus. <laughs> all right, so it's going to go on. Caddy Wampus <laughs> to the other one. All righty. <laughs> Y'all aren't having fun, are you? <laughs> oh, dear. All right. I think this might be stuck down enough. I think so. All right. How's it looking? I don't usually do 3D embellished um, stuff because I don't like to put them in journal because they're too uh, chunky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gloria. <laughs> uh, I love it. Upside down. Is it upside down? <laughs> I hope I'm not upside down. All right. So I was reading the chat. I get I get distracted. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. All right. So then I think I Oh, I got these at Tuesday morning. They were on the clearance. They were marked down from $4.99 to $2.49. And then whatever the yellow sticker is. What is that? 20% or is that is that more at Tuesday morning? So let's see what we can find. You know what? Let's put a couple of buttons. So do we want the light brown button and a dark brown button? Let's see. Let's put one like that. Do y'all like that? Well, I'm chunky, but I don't fit in a journal. <laughs> Austin says, why not? Chunky things like me are fantastic. Of course we're fantastic. <laughs> Cat says squirrel. Okay, so do you like that? I think this button's chipped. Is that okay if it's a chipped button? Because we're only special. You only want three, right, Susan? All right, do we want, do we want, uh, I don't think we can see those. Do we want some of the, Sequins. Let's do the sequins. How's that? That's too matchy matchy. Let's put one right there. Like that? Do you like the sequins? All right. So I'm going to put glue down for the buttons. We're going to put one right there. We're going to put one right there. We're going to put one right there. And now I'm going to read. Does anybody want the um, sequins? Do you like the sequins? We'll put the sequins on here. So I'm going to put a dot for the sequin. Dot for the sequin. Put a dot for the sequin. So have you ever had those embellishments that you try to put them down and then it just slides everywhere? <laughs> if if you use the glue and then let it set for a moment before you put it on there, it'll adhere better. It, it took me a while to learn this because I was like, hurry up, stick it now, and stay stuck. And there are other products products that will do that. But at the same time, I also have some movability. Say I changed my mind about that glue dot and I want to dump some glitter on top of it. I can do that because it'll stay sticky for a long time. Robin says, yes, all the dang time her stuff slides around. Enjoy your dinner, Austin. I hope you come back and thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hope it doesn't turn canny wampus either. Austin says, I hope your cruise or pray it doesn't turn canny wampus. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to put my buttons down because that's where I put the glue first. And notice that they're not sliding everywhere. All right, and I got to work quickly because 
I know you guys and gals, you have lives. You can't stay here all day. I'd love for you to. I enjoy doing these live feeds. It's a lot of fun for me. I love chatting with everybody, learning a little bit more about each of you, where you're located, what you like. And then I think it's just the community of it, crafting together. Don't you think, everybody? It's just kind of fun. Naomi says it's making her sit still. <laughs> She's a busy, busy gal with her children, and she fosters dogs. Susan's in Florida. Oh, I bet it's beautiful there this time of year. I know that Carrie's in sunny California, and she shows us pictures of her pool where she lives, and it makes me jealous. I just like, oh, I want to go hang out at Carrie's house just to go to the pool. All right, so I said I would add some glitter. I'm going to add tulip dimension paint. Is that okay, um, Robin? Will that be okay? So I'm just going to add, here, let's do it this way. I'm going to add three little dots. One, two, three. So that kind of sticks out, right? And let's, let's do, you can't see them down here. I'm going to put another dot of glitter on top of the sequins because they'll just sparkle don't you think that'll just sparkle is that good <clears throat> kylie's in scotland i just love the scottish accent too it's, you know sean connery oh <laughs> denise says it's 109 where she is oh so hot 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 all right you like that all right so we used nature as an inspiration and we made a tag and when the glue dries or the paint dries, I'll take some photos of that. You like that? So it'll sparkle on there. Okay. All right. I'm going to set this aside and I'll flip. Actually, I'm not going to, I'm going to save the flip through of this journal. I'm going to uh, do a separate video and I'll post it. Ha ha, I made you wait. <laughs> made you wait. Because <laughs> I think there's some more stuff that I want to add to this really quick like. And we're running out of time because I know everybody's got to get somewhere. But you like my cover? All right, let's get that out of the way. So I've received some happy, happy, happy mail. And Kat, since you've waited the longest, I'm going to get yours first. And bear with me a moment. I got to. Ah. Okay. I'm going to have a craft avalanche really soon. I just know it. <laughs> okay. So what I'm doing is grabbing a piece of paper so I can wash and tape it over her address. So I didn't want y'all to see her address. So Kat sent me. The pastel cat sent me this box. It's a huge priority box. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I, as you can see, I have not opened it. It's still taped shut. I have not peeked. So now I'm going to get, um, <laughs> get some scissors here. I think, can I pull it? Ah, boxes and me. Okay, I'm getting it cut. I think if I do it this way. Couldn't figure out where it's taped shut. I'm probably opening it completely wrong. And that's why you should do this before you get on camera. <laughs> okay. I think I'm getting there. You're very welcome, Phyllis. I'm glad I've, I shared it today. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. Oh, my word. There's more. Oh, look at that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't go for I love that sticker. That's awesome. I need some wall space, y'all. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. I love it. Isn't that neat? Main Street Wall Creations. Isn't she pretty? I'm, I may, uh, maybe I'll get a whiteboard and put her on a whiteboard that I can write on. And I can attach it to my door to my studio. 
Isn't she pretty? I love it. Okay, what is... Add it. Yeah, I could. It's huge. I, if I put it on a journal, I'd have to put it to where it wraps around like this. So this is uh, what you would see on the front of the journal. So I don't know. I like it. I'll have to figure out what I can. Jumbo sticker. I love it. Okay, so she's got all kinds. Of, okay, I'm just going to, I don't know if there's an order that I'm supposed to go in. So I'm just going to start unpacking. Oh my gosh. I thought you might get a kick out of this story. People know I have interesting things for art. So this wrapping paper was given to me, used from a party. I like unicorns okay, but not really my thing, but held on to it anyway. Then I saw in a video that you liked, well, heard. So I thought, perfect, I can use that for birthday gift. Then maybe you can use it in a JJ or art. <laughs> I just love upcycling. That is awesome. I love it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to be careful and use some scissors to cut the tape so that hopefully I can keep some of this paper to use. This is awesome. Y'all make me feel so special. I, and I'm just an average gal that just got brave enough to start a YouTube channel and posting my stuff on the internet and people said I like your teaching style so I keep doing it so if y'all keep coming I'll keep producing stuff <laughs> oh, good night uh, Marianne I'm so glad you came thank you so very much I know it's it's hard to get everybody around the world at the same time I'm so thankful you guys could be here Oh, she sent me some music. Um, unfortunately, I could not find any for a clarinet, but I thought in your JJ adventures, this might bring good memories. My love, <laughs> my favorite is Ruben in the Sky. Okay, so when, um, what is it? I, I just called to say I love you. I was in um, high school marching band. I played clarinet and bass clarinet, and I was the high school drum major. So I was the one that led everybody. And so here it is right off the bat. I just called to say I love you. We played this as an instrumental in our high school marching band. It was one of my favorites. And I got to in here, and there was another little thing that he did a montage our band director did and I got to be the solo as a bass line in it. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. So thank you. That I just love this. It's like if you've been hanging out with me or something, you know too much about me. <laughs> she knows I like music. She knows I like unicorns. She's stalking me, y'all. <laughs> That's awesome. I Yeah, I loved your notes. These notes are awesome. Okay, so assorted goodies for you to use. Found the applique clearance just before sending package. Had Linda written all over it. I have huge package of purple butterfly bags, so wanted to share. A piece of feather tulle from Dollar Tree. They still have it if you want more. And the packs of tool and a couple months back for 10 cents per pack. So I had lots and I thought you could have fun with all of the origami papers from da Dacio. This is awesome. Wow. Oh, there's something else. Oh, look at the applique. So I think this is what she found. You see the little so on applique i i have too many things that i love and this is awesome i love dragonflies i love peacocks i love unicorns i love paper so this is tracing shigami Sh shigami i'm probably butchering that because i'm a, a uneducated oki but look at all these uh, polka dots lots of polka dots i'm sorry if you're getting a glare isn't that pretty i love it Oh, look at this butterfly bag. Oh, I'm going to take that on my cruise. I'm going to put my jewelry in it. <laughs> so I'll remember you. So 
So Naomi says, do you use the things you really love and are in love with in journals and let them go or do you keep them? So here's, here's what I love about junk journals. I already collect too much SHI doo doo. That's my abbreviation for that word. <laughs> See you later. Uh, uh, you can watch this later, Na uh, Norella. Okay. <laughs> um, so I collect too much stuff and I started getting rid of things every once in a while. Yes, that is Japanese dollar store. I think so. Um, I decided a while back to not buy any more unicorn figurines. I love dragonflies, but unless it's going out in my garden, I don't um, buy any more dragon, uh, dragonfly ornaments or uh, figurines or wall hanging because it's all full. So when I see something like this, I can love this. I can put it in or on a journal. And usually I hang on to journals unless I'm, like this one, I'm, I made pretty live tonight, so it'll come up uh, in a, probably next week is when it'll come up as a video. But sometimes I'll have a journal for a month before I, you, the public, gets to see it, mainly because I have to edit and all that kind of stuff. So anyhow, I pet journals. I'll open them up. I'll look at them. I'll enjoy them. And then I always take photographs of them. So it helps me enjoy it that way. So yes, long story, I can use the things I really, really love in a journal and let it go. Because usually by about a month of playing with it, I'm. it's like a new toy. You're done with it and I can move on. Now, if it's something that just you know, screams, I have to keep this, then I will make a special journal just for me. And that will go in it. And I'm working on uh, collecting some stuff just for that. Okay, squirrel. Oh, look at this tool. That's beautiful. So I think she said the tool I could get at Dollar Tree. Isn't that beautiful? Which reminds me of some of the tools that I got with the spider webs on it. And look at this origami paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Tool circles. So you can use that. It's awesome. Oh, she gave me some of the notepad papers that she was writing the notes on. I love that. Thank you. And then here's some more colored paper, tissue paper. You know, the washi paper. It almost looks like very thin mulberry paper. And I love mulberry paper. I have a bunch of it. I, I always forget to get it out. Um, that's another thing. You know, I, I collect all kinds of papers and whatnot uh, throughout the years. Okay, I am challenged. There it is. And <clears throat> I've gotten to the point that I need to use this stuff up. I'm not getting any younger. You know, as you know, I just had a birthday. Well, I've turned 49. <laughs> Look at this paper. Yeah, it's kind of like mulberry paper. It's got a, ah, it's got a fiber in it. I don't know if you can see that. It's, but it's, it's almost as thin as tissue paper. It's gorgeous. Oh yeah, and it's a bigger piece. So you can kind of see it, it's folded funny, but I think it's, um, oh, it's probably almost 12 by 12, almost. It looks like it could almost be. Yeah, it's it must be 12 by 12 or about because it's folded up in there. That's gorgeous. Thank you, Kat. I, I, I'm not going to get through all these. <laughs> See you later, Mary. So much you came by. Okay, so now this envelope is sprayed, doused with glimmer mist, pearl in your honor. My first bottle ever, thanks. The card inside has the peacock and words done with tulip glitter paint. And then she taped this down. Because of you too. You started me with that too. And the other element stickers came that way. So I don't know if you can see how shimmery this envelope is. <laughs> That's awesome. It's beautiful. All right, I'm trying to, I'll try to get faster. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, push the dark purple center rectangle piece in and under the foam mounted flower to make the card stand dimensional form. Okay, so 
we're going to aha I'm so smart look at that oh this is awesome this is amazing Oh, she even wrote, Linda, with all the crafts you make for us viewers, here's one for you. Happy birthday. And she stamped dragonflies. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I hope you do too. You know, I'm trying to do them on Mondays. I'll be taking next Monday off, but I will pick back up the following Monday. Unless there's a, a holiday or, you know, something major that I can't get there. I'm going to be scheduling them. If you guys love this, I, I appreciate you coming. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. I love that it has a little shelf. It, it almost makes, because it's, it's pretty big, that I could, I could actually put a little pretty, you know, thing. I, I, that's not a pretty thing. but <laughs> Okay, here. Here I've got a pretty thing. I've got, this is a, a journal charm that I made, you know, so I can, I can, in a sense, it kind of looks like it's the top of a dresser. <laughs> Isn't that neat? I love this. It's awesome. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now we have more packages. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So there wasn't a sticky note on this one. So we're just going to open it up. Okay. Here it is. So these are oh, public domain from the library, Congress website. I printed for your birthday. They looked great stuff. I can give you links. I thought you could have fun with the blank music pages. Those are from vintage books. Most have images on references I thought you might like. The bird pages and short story in honor of my mom. And so I get what she means to you. I lost mine 14 years ago, and I still feel the hole in me. She was my best friend. And I agree. My mom was, you know, we didn't talk every single day, but I talked a lot with her, and I really miss her so much. It's been a year. Um, just a couple of days ago was uh, the anniversary of her death. People are wonderful in you to you when you lose a loved one. They make the pain easier. I agree. But such is life that we you know, the world moves on six months to a year later and things hit you at times and it can feel like a vacuum. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and that's why I was, it was important for me to send these to you. So you know that even I'm in a virtual stranger to you, that my heart connects to this and cares. Even a year or a year later, you have my deepest sympathies. The short story brought tears to my eyes. Aw. <laughs> This is awesome. All right. So look at this vintage. Oh, she used really nice papers. She went all out. <laughs> oh, look at this. The Nightingale. Once upon a time, there lived a rich, rich man, and he had more money than in all the rest of the county or country. <laughs> he lived in a house like a palace built all of porcelain so that one had to be careful not to press against it for porcelain, you know, is very brittle. The shutters that closed the windows were of purest gold. Gay silken flags fluttered from the towers and every time the great doors swung open, the trumpeters blew a loud blast to warn the guest who was entering not to neglect seeing the splendor within. <laughs> I like that. I need I need to get that. I think I want the, I want the rest of that, cat. I want the rest of that. I like it. Oh, and look at the blank music. And this is funny because when I was in high school, we used to write music. So it's kind of funny. I'm not even happy with that paper. Oh, look at this peacock. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, I love him. Uh, the carriages, the buggies, the king of the peacocks. Ah, oh, these are neat. Through the looking glass. So she says through the uh, public library. The, is it the, the National Library Cat? Um, you can't put the URL, but you can put what, you know, nationallibrary.com, I think. Or you can just put National Library. Isn't that beautiful? And so they're public domain, so you're allowed to print them of these older prints and books. I think is what uh, these all came from. Library of Congress. Library of Congress. Aren't these gorgeous? 
Now you have to watch it and see what it says, but usually it will tell you whether or not you can print it and use it. Okay. Oh, I like she gave me two different sizes of this one. And it's funny because I, I also like lions. I don't collect lions, but I also love lions. I have quite a few lion stamps. Oh, and here's the poem, Fresh Flowers. That's awesome. I'm not going to read all that. We're getting, we're getting, running out of time, running out of time. I love all this. Okay, so I'm putting some of the notes back in here. Hey, Erica, you ate dinner and was able to come back or feed your husband. Okay, so this one says, um, thought you might like the scraps plus some leaves I made from deli paper and acrylic sprays I made. And so these were the scraps from making my card. She sent me some of those. That's what's in here. Oh, wow. You kind of see the peacock and some embossed paper, the a negative, is that right, of the images she cut. Oh, is this a die? I guess, is this a, it's a die that I can still buy, Cat? Because I like that peacock die. It's pretty. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Um, let's see. You mentioned you might like to do fall stuff. I had loads of fall napkins. Uh, I have a napkin problem, Cat does. <laughs> I'm So I'm sharing some to help you out. Uh, they are inspiring. Also, some of my homemade glassine bags using deli papers and acrylic sprays. Don't look at the sewing too close. I'm a beginner and still learning. Well, that's okay. I love seeing what beginners do. And I love this washi tape. Isn't that pretty? Well, flower. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There's lots of napkins. Wow. Awesome. Look at this. So this is one of her glassine bags that she sprayed and stamped and then sewed. I like the stitch you chose. That's pretty. Uh, thank you, Kylie. I thought she did an awesome job with the little notes. You know, that just makes a gift that much more special. Um, so t I'm bad about it. I will put little notes in things if I want to explain what it is, but I don't go into the detail that she did. This is so thoughtful. Now look at this one. I love these. These are awesome. So it looks like an old fashioned sack, you know, that's just a flat, no gusset on the bottom. And then she stitched down the side, but they're so neat. Bye Willow. Enjoy your supper. Look at that napkin. This one looks like linen. It has texture. I don't know if I can get in the right light. It, it doesn't have texture, but it looks like it does. It's printed. It's really neat. Oh, look at this pumpkin one. Oh, wow. These are awesome. Oh, my gosh. I say you have a napkin problem. <laughs> so... Kat says on the deli paper, she used acrylic sprays and food color. Look at that napkin. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and this one with the fall leaves. Oh, see, and I could do something with this. It kind of reminds me of wheat. So that would kind of look neat, don't you think, to put on a tag? That's kind of neat. I may save that for later. These are great. Oh, thank you so much, Kat. All right, so let me get this out of the way. I've got a couple more packages to open, y'all. All right, so this one will go really fast. Um, Cheryl Oldenburg from ME. Is that ME? That's not Maine. She sent me this really unusual ribbon. And it says... Ooh. Harper Method Shop in their address. And it's just a ribbon that they probably use to tie packages. <laughs> and I just thought that was really interesting. She sent me a message and said, would you want this? And I go, sure, why not? I can figure something out. So I thought that was really neat. It'll be great for Halloween because of the colors and fall. So I'm going to try to use that in a project. It's, these are the kind of things that people you know, think of. Isn't that neat? 
Thank you, Robin. All right, so then I'm trying not to. I haven't even opened all of these yet. So this is from Norella. We did a tag swap inside the Friendly Junk Journal people, the admin people. Um, we did a tag swap with each other. And so look at what we got here. So I'm going to read this. So Linda, this tag is supposed to represent what the FJJ P means to me. Honestly, I don't think I could make a tag that truly expresses how much the group or you mean to me, but I gave it my best. When all the drama went down over a year ago and you had your fill of it, you refused to let it ruin your love of this art and walk away. No, it fueled you to create a drama-free zone, a place where people can share their art without fear and negativity. You are such a remarkable and kind person. I am honored to be in your group and call you my friend, Norella. Oh, thank you so much, Norella. See you later, Susan. I know, I know this is long, but there's so much goodies to share. <laughs> <clears throat> Yes, we need Napkins Addicts Anonymous. Apparently, we uh, have a tendency to save a few napkins. <laughs> Isn't that sweet of Norella? Okay, I'm getting ready to just trash this. I didn't know washi tape. You couldn't tear it. <laughs> what a tear. Okay. She didn't want me to open this, y'all. Or she's protecting it. Oh, this is the back of the tag. I often find myself saying a little prayer of thanks for you. Isn't that neat? Oh, wow. The flowers of friendship and kindness never fades. Isn't that pretty? Look at the dragonfly charm. It's a metal, you know, jewelry charm. I love that. Thank you, Norella. Oh, I love it. Robin says she's crafting and watching, so she's fine with watching. <laughs> Goodies just for you. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Naomi. I, I think she did a great job. I love it. Okay, let's see what she's got in here. So this, oh, look at these beads. Oh, look at that. She probably either bought some jewelry or maybe went to something. Aren't those gorgeous? They're kind of, this one's kind of heavy, but those would be pretty hanging off of a peacock journal. <laughs> oh, look, she sent me a little deer. It's a button. Isn't that neat? And then these are all stickers, I think. They feel like stickers. Oh, I love the birdies. They're so cute. Oh, there's a feather. Oh, that's awesome. And then here's some papers that she sent. Isn't that tag beautiful? She did a great job. I love it. Love it. I'm so spoiled. Y'all love me too much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm going to lose everything now. Okay, we're going to try to cram it back in the envelope. Maybe. Don't mess anything up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no excuse to be part of the swaps now. <laughs> and she, she did a fabulous job on that. Okay, so this is from... Oh, this is from Loretta. I haven't opened this one either. And Erica, I've got your package. I'm getting ready to open it after I open Loretta's. <laughs> Okay, so again, this is another one of the admin from my uh, Facebook group, the Friendly Junk Journal people. And so we were making tags that was supposed to represent uh, how we felt or thought about the Friendly Junk Journal people. And so this is what you're seeing is um, their talent and their um, love for this group. It's the little things that make life big. So this is a tag that she's made that's got fabric. It's got a heavy card under here, maybe like almost watercolor thickness. It's pretty thick. And look here, we have a little 
tag right inside. Oops, I think I'm pulling on both sides. I didn't mean to do that. Um, a little tag that she stamped on. Isn't that pretty? I guess. No, no, no. This is a napkin. I feel it now. So she fussy cut around the flowers of the napkin and then applied it to the tag. Isn't that neat? And then this is an altered paper clip that's stuck on there. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Okay, so let me put this back. All right, so that's this side. And then on this side, oh my. Look at that tag. Look at these little tags. They're die cut shapes. Refresh. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look at that. She probably has uh, heartfelt memory stamps and the dies that go with it because those were all cut and colored. And then she's added that as a charm on the tag so it hangs loose. Isn't that neat? That's pretty. Oh, and I'm trying to get this. All right. And then she made a patuckalope that is full of goodies. Oh, my goodness. There's a ton of goodies. So some more of these little die-cut shapes, little tags. And these look like she stamped them. Isn't that neat? You know, just using the different colors of stamps, this looks like something you would have purchased. But by adding different colors and splattering it and stamping it, adding some washi tape, adding a little bow, she's made something truly cute and unique. Each one's going to be different. <gasps> oh, did I forget? Small box. Okay, I'll look at the box again. It may still be, it may be stuck in there or something. I'll look, Kat. Okay, and then this is a, a pocket, and then look, she's also made another pocket on the other side, and there's more goodies. Isn't that neat? I love this. This is so creative. Yes, the little tree from you. It's behind me. That's awesome. I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably putting it back together wrong, but there that is. Okay, so let's open this one. I got, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. I, you know what? I may do that this year. I may set up my Christmas tree and just put cards and tags on it. That would be fun. Yes, thank you, Robin. So here is Dare to Dream. And this is one of those wrapped paper clips. It's kind of neat to see one in person. I've seen them online. I have not made any. So the idea is you can wrap the bottom portion of the paper clip. Let me get a paper clip. That's... So they wrapped around the inner shorter piece. And then you turn that over and you add a little doodad or more fibers and then that becomes an altered paper clip isn't that really neat i love it thank you so much loretta all right so then let me and then that clips on there like that and so she gave me a little handmade journal so uh, this looks like a hair tie did you see the band right here and she took notebook paper and cut it in half and she used a uh, what is that? Five and a half by eight and a half sheet of paper for the cover. She has stamped it. Isn't that neat? What a neat little gift, you know? That's awesome gift. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. I love it, Loretta. It's so nice. Okay. So last we have this is from Erica. Yeah. Okay. And I got to look in the box. Where's the box? Oh, I found it. I found the box. Okay. Sorry. Squirrel. <laughs> um, Erica was going... Uh, <laughs> 
Erica was going to a rubber stamp show, rubber stamp scrapbook show. And she says, is there anything that anybody wants? And I don't know if y'all noticed I posted in my group. I didn't have a spider web stamp. I, I thought I owned one, but I guess I've always looked at them and thought, that's really pretty. I think I already have one at home <laughs> and I'd never buy it. Well, I didn't have any. So, <laughs> so I said, um, yeah, I'd like some spider webs stamps of some kind. And she went to the show and like within, I don't know, walking in the door, she sent me a picture and goes, do you like that? I said, that is perfect. I love it. I want it. And she said, okay. And then I said, how much? She goes, nothing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, so thank you. I love these. These are awesome. I haven't used them yet. I just got the package uh, open today. I haven't really got into all my stuff. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She says, thanks for swapping with me. She gave me some Christmas paper. And then this feels like vellum. This feels like vellum that she sprayed. Wow. I love it. I love the sound. That's awesome. <laughs> Naomi says she's this sounds like me every day. Where's the box? Where is it? It was just here. Makisha. <laughs> so apparently her daughter walks off with her boxes. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. Okay. I can play with stuff like this all day. <laughs> okay. So here. Oh, look at this tag that she made. So she's used a vintage image on cardstock and then she made a tag with a pocket she's added some lace over some notebook paper this this has been sprayed that's pretty i love this erica that's beautiful and then look at this tag so it, it's got a, a hole at the top and it's got ribbon and then this comes out wow and then flip it over and look over here. And we've got, it's Christmas. We're, we're ready for Christmas already. Wow, I love it. Okay, so then, oh, here's a little journal card that she's made. So this looks like it's uh, either printed fabric, uh, paper or a stamp or digital. And then this is a sticker with some papers behind it. And then she's even made a little pocket in the corner. So you got a little tiny tuck spot right there. That's awesome. <laughs> Naomi says her daughter shouldn't run away with all of her stuff. I had some words yesterday for something. And guess who attacked them? <laughs> with the circle punch. <laughs> oh, you poor good thing. Oh. And then this. Oh, this is... Um, I don't know if what she's calling them, but I saw somebody post that they made circle pockets. And so they're taking about a two and a half inch circle and making a pocket on the front and then putting another coin inside of it. This could also constitute, in my opinion, a uh, artist trading coin as well because it's two and a half inches and it fits that. That's kind of neat. Love it. <laughs> oh and some doilies i'm gonna have lots of doilies because i bought some and people keep sending them to you so thank you for those erica oh now look at this tag so oh i'm on the back oh look at the birds isn't that pretty i love this that's beautiful and she's put some crinkled paper it looks like fabric but it's um handmade paper that's put on here. That's beautiful. And she's st stitched around that. And then this side has some more bird images. And there's another little pocket with a miniature postcard. That's beautiful, Eric. I love this. This is awesome. <clears throat> and then look at this tag. So she's got some really pretty blinged out um, charms. Oh, and here's another one of those wrapped paper clips you just wrap it put your charms on there wrap it and tie it off and that's an, another alternative to making journal charms that's awesome and then this looks like she tore images and just layered them i love all of these these are so pretty 
It makes me want to sit in my garden. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I love it. So thank you so much. Okay, we got one more thing because I missed this box when I was digging everything out. It was wrapped in bubble wrap, and so I didn't see it. So let's do that. Okay, so this is funny. I don't recommend using this. Are we intrigued? Whatever could it be? <laughs> Why did you send it to me if you don't want me to use it? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Okay, there's another note, she said. I didn't see it. Did I leave it in the box or is it inside? Okay. We got, we're trying to preserve the unicorns. Preserve the unicorns. Because they're extinct. <laughs> oh, where can we find crafty individuals? Give me just a moment. And I guess I didn't copy that earlier. And paste. And enter. Okay, there you go. And if you buy something from them, tell them how you found out about them. Because I want them to be impressed that I talked about them on my channel. <laughs> um, okay. Nope, oh, and Kylie found the UK link. Perfect. Thank you. They are in the UK and they have awesome stamps. Okay, we're unwrapping. Okay, that's the first layer of tissue. <laughs> oh, how funny. <laughs> Oh, it's a tiny sewing machine, y'all. <laughs> I love it. Isn't that darling? Oh, how cute. I don't, did you believe that in all my years of sewing and the things that I collect, I don't have a miniature sewing machine at all? I went over to a friend's house not too long ago and she collects, uh, they're a certain size, they're like, six four by six or something but they're chunky and they look like real sewing machines and she had a bunch of them and then she had you know little things like this around her room and i'm like i don't have any of that <laughs> oh she said it was for a dollhouse a uh, cat said that was for a dollhouse that is super cute i love it thank you so you, my face hurts i'm smiling so much <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that awesome? You you guys and gals are amazing to me. And again, I feel so blessed to be a part of this fabulous world. I hope you enjoyed this video. That do that you laughed a little too. Um, that you don't take life so seriously. That you use that stuff that you've been keeping forever and give it some love and possibly even share it with somebody else so they can love it too. And, you know, even the smallest gestures of a birthday card to somebody is a fabulous thing. So think of others and uh, I will all search the box and I think of others and maybe send them a note to someone you were thinking about. Um, and just let them know you were thinking about them. Didn't have to be fancy. Just kind of fun. Uh, and I appreciate you um, shopping in my shop. If you do, Kylie shared the link. Check out my Facebook groups because we have a lot of fun there as well. And I'm going to be on vacation next week. So I will see you in two weeks from today. And I, again, I, I'm smiling just you know, so happy. And I'm going to move the camera just a little bit so you can see my desk. So try to bear with me. So this is my desk. Oh, let me go up. <clears throat> so this is my desk where I sit. So here's my lap. And then over here, that's the mail I got today. That's my glue uh, bin. And then this is some of my papers. There's my other beverage. There's more stuff. 
there's more stuff. <laughs> there's more stuff. And as you can see, that's a desk. And there's only inches. There's only enough room for washi tape to lay here. Okay, and here's a drawer that's full. <laughs> so then if we come back around, that's that's where you're seeing me work. And then there's my computer. Oh, look, we can do an affinity view. <laughs> and then if you look over here, I've got another basket of stuff. And look, there's hardly any space, but you see all this stuff piled up here. There's my other beverage. There's some stamps. There's some more. And then here's my sewing machine that I have on a card table or a uh, TV tray. <laughs> so that uh, that's what's going on in my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm using I'm using a mic stand for the um, live video because of the height and everything of my table and trying to get the camera so you guys can see everything. I used the mic stand <laughs> because my husband's a musician and uh, plays bass. And so it was sitting there. So I got to have, have it. Yeah, you saw my remote. <laughs> I I don't lose this. <laughs> this is handy. I need to update the app on my phone because it's a Roku TV and I'm supposed to be able to use my phone to control it. But no, this this isn't good. Every once in a while, it'll have stuff on top of it. And I'll be like, where's the, oh, there it is. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, well. I'm going to give all of you guys a hug and thank you so much for being here. I'm going to get off unless you have some more questions. <laughs> do you do that with your scissors looking for them? It's like, where's my scissors? And I have a few pair, you know, here's some more. Um, I probably have about 10 pairs of scissors and right now I can only see two. Oh, wait, here's, here's another. Does this count? <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got to look in the box again. Oh, I found the note. I found the note. It was stuck. <laughs> I found the note, Kat. Thank you again. Um, you have blessed me, all of you, this day. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, there's some days it's hard to get around and do things, or I'm so frantic this week trying to get things done before I go on vacation. Then I'm like, okay. I, I've got to do the live feed and I got to be ready. I've got to have neat things for them. And I'm like stressing out <laughs> over it. But then once I get here, I'm like, oh, we're going to have fun. <laughs> so I do have fun and I appreciate you. I am only human. Naomi reminds me. Um, I am just human. I, I may not post in a lot of the groups, but when I do, it's a gem. <laughs> When I speak, it's it's worthy of being listened to because if I tell you I like something or it looks good or you did a good job, then I'm I'm telling you the truth. And and one thing that I think is something that we lack in this world are kind words. So here's what I want you to do. It's a challenge from me to you. I want you to uh, send some kind words to someone, either as a card, a tag, an email, a text, a Facebook post, whatever it is. Um, send some love and tell people that you're thinking about them. On Facebook, especially or YouTube or Instagram or Twitter, if you see a post that somebody makes and you like it, tell them. Um, that's the part of social media that to be social, <laughs> ask them questions to get a conversation started because you may make a new friend. Again, if you have a YouTube, I hope you mentioned it in the feed. And if you want, you can come back and just leave me a post on my wall that says, um, you know, after this video ends, just come back and make a comment in the video uh, section down below that you have a YouTube. I try to go follow everybody. I don't watch that many because I'm usually too busy creating. Um, so don't feel bad if I don't watch your videos because <laughs> I'm always filming. I currently have uh, about 15 videos that I'm working on editing to get ready. I'm going to have an online workshop very soon. I've got about three more videos to edit for that. Um, 
let's see what else uh be on the lookout for some mixed media collaborations did you check out my halloween junk journal and junk journal kits that i have and i will be working on lots of christmas so if you have requests of things you want to see Christmas wise, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And even, you know, some of the things that I saw as gifts that I got today, it, people always ask me, where do you get your imp inspiration? And sometimes it's just from friends that send me something that inspires me. <clears throat> so I may make something because of the gifts that I got here today. All right. Thank you. I'm so glad you were here. I'm glad you were entertained. I'm reading over some of the messages. And yes, YouTubers, new YouTubers need love and encouragement as well. So, you know, when you're watching a video and uh, I get really irritated at videos, <laughs> but I always try to find something positive to say. <laughs> Because that's the that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to encourage people, not bring them down. But I'll if I think there's something they could improve upon that I can say without it coming off as like a catty remark that I can say, hey, here's a great idea. I love what you did. Could you might want to try this because it may improve your viewership, you know, or something like that. Uh, but yeah, give encouragement to those new YouTubers out there. Hey, Debbie, you have an awesome night. I'm going to get off here. Uh, I'm just rattling on and on and on. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> All right. It's time for you to hang up now. All right. No, you hang up. <laughs> yeah. Denise says, I have a great vacation. Hopefully no phones or computers. Yeah, I'll have those, but I won't have phone phone. I'll just have internet. <laughs> Hit a thumbs up before you leave. Share it with your friends if you have others that might like it. And thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. Okay, now you hang up. <laughs> no, 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 you hang up. Are you going to hang up? <laughs> All right, I got to find the mouse. All right, bumping the camera. All right, I'm getting ready to end it. Love you lots. Bye. <laughs>